About 8% of adults will experience major depression at some point in their life, according to the Canadian Mental Health Association. A clinic in Mississauga is using ketamine to treat depression. It's also a drug that's popular amongst recreational drug users, but is known as Special K on the streets. But according to some experts, ketamine is more efficient in treating depression compared to other types of antidepressants. Currently in Canada, though, it can only be administered through IV infusion. But here at St. Michael's, they're taking a look at a clinical study using the nasal spray. I've actually lifted up a book and I've started to read. You look fine on the inside. A big feat for Andrea Beeson, who has been struggling with treatment-resistant depression since 2001. I would be in bed all day, not eating. Um, only going to psychiatrist appointments and um, having severe suicidal thinking and uh, some self-harm. The mother of two has flown in all the way from Newfoundland to get help from a privately run clinic in Mississauga, which uses ketamine to treat depression. It's an anesthetic that, among other things, appears to not only alleviate depression, but do so in a very rapid way and may also reduce thoughts of self-harm and suicide. After four IV infusions over the past two months, yes, Beeson feels significantly better. I was uh, laughing a little more. I wasn't isolating myself to my room as much. I was more engaging in conversation and uh, I actually, not well not after the first one, but after the, probably the third, the third, I had motiv more motivation to get a bath. I hadn't gotten a bath in probably two years. In Canada, the treatment can only be administered through IV infusion. The esketamine nasal spray known as Spravato was just approved by the FDA down south a few days ago. St. Michael's Hospital is now doing a clinical study on it, hoping to get Spravato approved by the end of the year. Well, esketamine is part of a breakthrough into rapidly acting drugs that get right to some of the targets that other drugs often take. Uh, days or weeks to get to. There is no question that the S-ketamine formulation, which is a formulation of ketamine and available in the intranasal delivery uh, route, certainly offers tremendous convenience in terms of we don't need to hook up a, a vein and have an IV flowing, have an anesthetist oversee things. Beeson, who uses the IV infusion treatment, is paying roughly $4,500 for her full package. Health insurance doesn't cover it. While it's unknown how much the nasal spray will cost, Dr. McIntyre has an idea. The wholesale cost in the United States is between three and $5,000 U.S., and that does not include the cost of the actual clinic's time. While Beeson acknowledges it's pricey, she finally has hope after years of battling debilitating depression which is priceless. I may not get to my full functioning. I may not, uh, that's, that's to be determined. But you, you go from here to here, that's still major, mm -hmm. you know, and you work on the rest. While ketamine is being used at the Mississauga Clinic, there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered before Spravato is released to the public, such as taking a look at long-term side effects and affordability. Health Canada says that it's currently under review and it will take at least 180 days before it is approved or denied. Malia Sheikh, City News, Toronto.